Hi everyone, I'm Ben Myers and welcome to Beer with Ben. We're traveling across our country, searching for the most unique and tasty beers our nation has to offer. What happens when three friends realize their dream and start brewing beer? Welcome to Milford, Connecticut, Tribus Beer Company. Located in Milford, Connecticut, Tribus Beer Company opened in 2018, but they haven't wasted any time developing a huge following due to their unique beers and modern tasting room. With classic styles mingling with kettle sour ales, Tribus Beer Company has something for everyone. Let's go find some tasty beer. Hey guys, we're inside Tribus Beer Company here in Milford, Connecticut with co-founder himself, Sean O'Neill. How are you? Welcome to the show. I'm well, thank you. Happy Saturday. How are you happy doing Saturday. today? Hey, I'm happy. We're having some beers. We're talking about people about good beer, so we're living the dream over here. <laughs> <laughs> so first off, before we get started, yeah. what are we sipping on here? Uh, this is Benji IPA. Okay. Uh, single IPA, 6.8%. Okay. Obviously, you can see it's hazy. Okay. That's what a lot of people like these days. Well, uh, let's cheers. cheers. All right, so get into a little bit about the name Tribus yeah. and how you guys got started. I mean, it's a pretty unique name, uh, and we'll get into the logo as well. So, sure. uh, Well, it's three friends, myself, Sebastian, and Matt. Yeah. Uh, Sebastian and I grew up with each other in Norwalk since the age of seven. So just three friends. These are people that, like, we've known each other for a while. Me and Sebastian and then yeah. Matt kind of came later in the picture. He grew up in Milford. Okay. And so Sebastian and I grew up together. Uh, went to high school. I went to the School of Business of UConn. And then Sebastian went to VLB uh, Brewing Institute in Berlin, Germany for oh, six months. Oh, wow. So that's pretty impressive. It pretty was prestigious. Pretty intensive yeah. program for what he told me. But he's originally from Austria, so he speaks fluent German. It was a little easier for him. Um, and then Matt went to Civil Institute in Chicago for his brewing education, and then a little bit at Doman's in Munich. That's Munich, okay. And then we met at Archie Moore's in Milford for Wings and Beers about three, three and a half years ago saying, yeah. hey. And then the dream was realized, right? right? We don't want bosses anymore. Let's together. just do this ourselves. Yeah. Let's kind of run our own ship and see what happens. Okay. And long story short, Tribus Here means three in Latin. Okay, there it is. Three guys come together, passionate people making passionate beer. Prior to anything being designed, we ultimately just wanted to say, okay, what message do we want to transpire and deliver to customers yeah. when they look at our brand and how they recognize it? We want it to be simple, we want it to be clean, crisp, not cluttered. Yeah. So another thing you guys have that's unique that I've never seen before is called the Tribe. It's kind of like a private club, if you will, or a membership okay. yeah. in the Tribe, at yeah. Tribus. Can you get into that a little bit? Uh, well, you know, most companies have a mission statement and then they have like a mantra. Yeah. so to speak, and Tribe, when we looked it up on Wikipedia or Google, I don't know if this is true or yeah, not, but it kind of, it worked out well. Yeah. We basically were like, okay, well, there's also a stem of the word tribe, the three original tribes that created the Roman Empire, so it kind of yeah, sounds like tribe in the beginning. Uh, upbringing here. You guys have a background that's yeah. that epic, right? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hopefully you know, that's the idea. It's, we've only been open for a year, yeah. uh, but we're hard workers and we'll just continue to adapt to the market and see what's next. So, Sean, we want to totally appreciate you having us here Thanks and for coming. Uh, joining Beer with Ben and Sean O'Neill, co founder, Tribus Beer Company here in Milford, Connecticut, guys. Yes. Salute. Hey guys, we're at the bar here in the tap room talking to Sebastian Diagostino, head brewer, co-founder, and all around good guy. Uh, we're gonna go through some beers, but first I wanna tell us a little bit about your background in uh, getting into brewing. It's uh, a pretty quick story. I mean, I just kind of started home brewing, didn't do that for that long, and then just decided I'm just gonna go to brewing school and just kind of go all in. Okay. Uh, went to brewing school in Berlin, uh, Germany and then came back here for an internship started at New England Brewing in Woodbridge New England which you'll yeah. see on a couple episodes before yeah so that's yeah. when I met up with Matt Weichner the other uh, head brewer and co-founder and we worked together for about six years and then 
um, you know, I knew Sean growing up, and then the three of us kind of got together, and that's kind of how we got ended up here, awesome. starting Travis. Well, yeah, we totally appreciate you bringing us into your world. Um, like I said, we love coming to, the, to a place that's just it's brand new in its infancy, and you guys are trying to, you know, make your way through. And so far, amazing beer. Um, so let's get right into it here. Yeah, absolutely. We'll start uh, right here with the lighter one. Yeah, this is a uh, beer. This is our Pilsner. Okay. German style Pilsner. It's pretty traditional. Right. Cheers. So it's very light, crisp, really easy drinking. It's one of our that malt, malt flavor. Oh yeah. So it's, it's but not too heavy. No. Not very very it's, ba well balanced. Exactly. Well, so yeah. it's the only non-traditional thing about this is that it's dry hop. We just kind of add our little twist, okay. American twist on it. Um, other than that, German malt, German yeast, German hops, everything through and through. We both love drinking Pilsners, yeah. and I think most people do. It's our, one of our most popular beers consistently in the tap room, just because yeah. you come here with a big group, those two or three people that don't really drink beer that much, you give them this, this and they're like, oh, want. this is yeah. tastes like Let's the beer that I usually drink. Try a little more time. Yeah. It's Saturday. It's Saturday, mm -hmm. right? Um, let's move on to the next one. What we got here? This is Benji. So this is our IPA. Yeah, this is our quasi flagship IPA. I would okay. say it's the one we've made most often. All right. And this is, um, as you can see, very hazy. Like juicy yeah. fruit, baby. Like, yeah. woo! Yep. I like that. So that's got I'm citrus mosaic. I'm probably gonna take Columbus. some more with them. Let yeah. me go home. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. It's a very, you know, tropical fruit, citrus. Yeah. Stone fruit, it's got a lot of like, you know, we want a lot of flavor. We want to keep that mouthfeel like, you know, like very tropical creamy and, punch exactly. in, the, in the mouth. Yeah. We want you to easy drinking, everyday IPA. This is kind of it. Yeah. You know, that's why we, that's why we kind of hold, call it Benji, you know, keep it 100. Yeah. There you go. Well, there's that and it's it's obviously delicious and I'm Ben, so maybe yeah, Benji, there you go. Benji's beer. <laughs> there you um, go. It's fate, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go on to the third one. Yeah, so this one is one of our fruited sour IPAs. Okay. It's uh, more fruit than IPA, but it is dry hop. So this is seedless. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Glink. So this actually has actual boysenberry, blackberry, black currant, I mean, that's and raspberry blood, it's in It's like there. a rush of. Yeah, it's a rush of, like of just berry. berry. Wow. I, I always say it's like that's jam. Really, really it's good. just like, if you think yeah. of jam in like a, in, a, in liquid form that you can drink. Well, that's, and it got a little hint of, you know, tartness. Hint of, or that'd be, I guess that's the hint at the name Seedless. I mean, this exactly. is like the Smucker's Jam yeah. <laughs> of beers. That's, yeah, that's, that is that's delicious really beer. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Well, I look forward to coming back when we get all that. And check out the new Barrel Aged and the classic styles of Pilsners and Lagers. Like I said, guys, you need to come down here. If you're in Milford, you're in the Connecticut area, you're from New York City, get up here, take the train. Our, one of our producers just came up here, so like, why can't you? Great beers in Milford, Connecticut, guys. Thank you, Sebastian. Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Hey guys, we're inside the bar here at Tribus Beer Co. And I'm here with one of the tribe members himself, Mike Loomis. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks How for are you? Me. Yeah. I'm really good. I'm so glad you could take the time. I know you're a busy man drinking some beer here on a Saturday. Yeah. So um, <laughs> first off, let's uh a little, do a little toast. A little toast, man. Cheers, brother. So hey, what are what are you uh, drinking on today? Um, I'm having pillows. Pillows. And Pillows is one of their um, tasty, hazy beers. I mean, it's just well, delicious. We're in New England, New England IPAs, hazy, beautiful, or cloudy uh, yep. IPAs. Come on, I got the uh, Check Yourself Pilsner, which is a Czech-inspired, kind of a classic style we talked about earlier uh, with Sebastian about those classic styles, classic Czech Pilsner. So tell us a little bit, so you're from Milford? Yeah, actually, well, I live in Milford. Okay. Um, I moved here about three years ago, and we were in dire need of a brewery. Yeah. So the tribe started last year. Okay. Um, I jumped on it right away. Yeah. 100 bucks a year, I think it is. Okay. And you get a whole bunch of perks. So the best is actually this 20 ounce glass. Got the, you got that nice little, nice little rim. Um, You're this fancy. You're yeah. the fanciest <laughs> bar here. So you get a 20 ounce for the price of a 16. So okay. when you're here, everybody's looking at you like, oh, that guy must be special. Do you know that guy? <laughs> I know that guy, yeah. So four ounces extra every single time you get a big beer like this. 20% um, off merch. 
They actually have parties also, I was going to ask, the VIP parties for the, for yep. the tribe. Yep, yeah. VIP parties twice a year. We've had one so far. I say we like I like own the place, but... <laughs> so they do have parties here? They have parties, free food, they give you, hook you up with beer, okay. and entertainment, and it's great. So yeah. what was that last VIP party like? What did they do? Um, food and stuff? It was stellar. They just had a bunch of burgers and um, dogs and uh, free beer. Like getting and everybody together, and it's all about community. I mean, yeah. That's really about these small breweries. That's why we come to places like this. It's all about Agreed. that sense of community and guys like Mike Loomis. Here yep, he is in exactly, the flesh. Yep. Mike, thank you for uh, giving me the chance to talk to you here at Tribus Beer Company. And hopefully, uh, maybe you guys will accept me as part of the tribe. Yes, I think we can do that. Welcome to the tribe, brother. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, man. That wraps up our trip to Tribus Beer Company here in Milford, Connecticut. Follow us as we continue our journey searching for the most unique and tasty beer here on Beer With Ben.